is time for Sex Talk with Shawanda Parker. So we're going to be talking about a lot of different topics today. It's a lot of different things that I want to touch on. And it's not really about, I guess, toys and all of this kind of stuff. But it's just more like um, relationship help or um, I don't want to say advice. But more so just like some things to kind of make you just think about certain stuff um because sometimes when you get older and you in a relationship and you start seeing certain things it just kind of make you wonder and it just make you ponder on certain stuff um i think sometimes when women start to get in their 30s they start to feel a little more confident about themselves because keep in mind you know when you when you young and you're a teenager you're doing what your parents say do right when you get in your 20s it's kind of like you know you making all of the mistakes you you making all of the i don't want to say necessarily bad choices but it's kind of like growing pains because you kind of getting to know who you are as a person and it's male and female a lot of times it's during the time that you're going to college you starting to uh look at the world completely different but something happens when you get in your 30s especially when you get past 35 I don't know what it is that happened, but you start to get this certain type of confidence about yourself and you start learning what it is that you want, what you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate because all them other years you were living your life sometimes for children, sometimes you were trying to uh, please a man, sometimes you might have been trying to please a woman, a spouse or whatever. But when you start to get into your 30s, you start to realize that shit, time ain't waiting on nobody. So that's what the fuck we about to be talking about. All kind of shit. It's, it's so much that I want to cover because I talk to my daughter a lot. And, you know, she's away in college and she calls me. She be like, mom, like, I don't think you understand about a lot of the knowledge that you gave me and the way I look at things is like completely different than your average 18 year old. I just look at relationships completely different. And I just feel like it's just certain things that I'm not going to tolerate or deal with or put up with. But a lot of times because you're not having these conversations with your children, they going in this shit thinking they know. And then when they get in it, they realizing that they really don't know. So last week I posted a picture and it was this older white couple and they were holding hands walking into walking into walmart okay and i was just i made an observation and it's just my observation okay i don't really see a lot of black couples doing this but when i'm going into the malls and when i'm going like when i'm traveling i always see white people having pu public displays of affection now, I'm not saying that a black man not going to grab your hand, but more than likely they're going to grab your ass before they grab your hand. And am I right? Am, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm wrong. Because maybe I'm only looking at the world from my set of eyes, okay? Maybe y'all see something different. If y'all see something different, y'all tell me. I don't really see a lot of men opening up doors, car doors for women. I don't really see, I see some men, um, and I'm not going to say they don't open up the door because like the doors to buildings and stuff, like I see them doing that. Um, I see them even asking women, you know, do they want to take their seat? But I'm just talking about like public displays of affection, hugging, nice kick, kissing. I ain't talking about slobbing each other down. Just kind of letting the world know that this is my lady and I'm proud to have her on my arm. And I'm proud to be out with her in public. I don't really see a lot of that. I don't. And I'm just telling you what I see. And it made me talk to my daughter. And I was talking about how I deal with a lot of women. And these women are telling me how a lot of times the men that they're dealing with never take them anywhere. Meaning the only time they see them or spend time with them is to Netflix and chill is to be within a dwelling of a house or something like that or going over to somebody's house and chilling to a gathering. But these men are not literally saying, baby, put on something nice, let me take you out. A lot, they're saying that men are not doing that. 
that they very seldom go out. And sometimes the excuse is because of kids and work and tired and all of this kind of stuff. But I'm talking to, I, I know for sure I got some women that's following this right now. And all I want to know is, you tell me what woman would not enjoy getting a message from their man saying, baby, when you get off today, put on something nice. I'm going to take you out. What woman wouldn't want that? Tell me what woman would not want to get a message from their man saying, baby, I just want to take you out. Now, I didn't say taking you out mean that you got to go and spin an arm and a leg and, you know, take bill money and do this and that the other. Because it's a lot of things that you could do in the city that doesn't require you to spend a lot of money. Even if I want to put on some clothes, I want to take you out could be, you know, you... Let me tell you something. The same way women can find out the deals or where to go well to get what discounts on what, men can do that too. Men can do that too. What the place is, um, y'all correct me. I think it's Bonefish Grill have some kind of special they do on Wednesday nights, right? Um, I know Parans have a special they do on Tuesday nights, right? I love raw oysters, so I go. On, I wait to Tuesday to go get raw oysters on um from Paul Rands because I like raw oysters. But my thing is, if a, a man can't take you out in public and walk you on the side of him hand to hand to show the world that he got the most precious gift that God could have ever graced him with, why why do we want to why why are we settling for that? For somebody that never want to go and do anything with you, not even taking you to the to the five dollar move on Tuesdays. Like, baby, let me tell you something. One thing about Sharonda Parker, I love to have a good time, but please believe me when I tell you I have a good time on a budget, baby. Because the same way everybody out there got bills, I got them too. Everybody that they got kids, I got them too. However. You can still go out there and have a really great quality of life on a budget. I just want to know. Tell me what woman, because I'm I still hadn't seen nobody say nothing. What woman do not want a man to say, baby, I want to take you out? And I ain't talking about to the motherfucking club. I ain't talking about to Bella Noche. I ain't talking about to the fucking Dacra shop on Thursday night. I'm not talking about taking you out like that. I'm talking about taking you out somewhere where you can spend quality time together so where we can be together we can touch each other we can be in each other's presence we can love up on each other who wouldn't want that let's see a lot of women don't think that they are worthy and if they do they don't say anything why are we not being vocal about what we want I am 38 years old the clock ain't going backwards for me a lot of y'all that are my followers are in the same age group that I'm in. Bitch, the clock ain't going backwards for you. So at what point are you going to start getting what you want out of life? At what point are you going to start telling this man what it is that you expect of him and what you want out of life? You should not be watching everybody else in the world live their best life. And when it comes time to you living your best life, you got to settle. I don't understand it. Hold, hold on. Call from wireless. It's a great day at PPG. What date are you interested in? What date are you interested in? Okay, well, we have September the 27th available for $100. If you're interested in booking that date, you can come in and pay and book it. You come into the store, you come into the store and you bring in your payment and you book the party. You pick the color that you want the room decorated. The room seats 50 people. That includes your fun party, your games, and your prizes. Okay, we'll be here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. We don't hold dates. You have to come in and actually pay for it. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Mr. Parker. Okay, he must have hung up. 
Okay, so yeah, back to what I'm saying. At what point are you gonna start requiring a motherfucker to do some shit for you that 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 you want to happen? Like, at what point are you gonna say I want to be treated like a lady? Now, keep in mind, bitch, you gotta act like a lady too. Like, you gotta go somewhere. Now, you can't go and act like you the nigga. So, look, I had put this this post up. I put two posts up, right? So, uh, the post said, "I'm I'm a girl, but I'm that nigga." <laughs> So my husband said, what that mean? For me, the post meant, I am you. Meaning that you got a lot of women that's around here that's fucking delusional about how this shit go with relationships and how this shit go with just letting a, a man do what the hell they want to do. See, if you don't start putting your foot down and, and start requiring certain shit and start letting a motherfucker know what it is that you want and need in a relationship... Them the kind of people that get stepped over. And and men always talking about they want these certain type of women. But all of them women that I see that, that fit into that mold that they say they want, they get dogged the fuck out. And that's just what the fuck I see. I see women being so sweet. Oh, you ain't got a car? You can use my car. Then guess what? He riding these hoes around in your shit. I see women talking about, oh, I, you, you want to start a business? I'm going to help you get on your feet. I'm going to help you take my, I'm going to help take some of my tax money. And help you get on your feet. And then as soon as the shit get the rolling good, he on to the next one. Like, I see so many good women get messed over. So my thing is, I'd rather just be straight up and be myself. I'm going to let you know that I'm you. In other words, what you give is what you're going to get. So, I'm not your average. What you give is what you're going to get. So then the next post I had up. And a lot of y'all saw it was, if this pussy yours, then these bills yours too. Okay. So, my husband was really offended by that one. And he was just basically saying that he just felt like that was really disrespectful for, for me to put that up there like that because it shouldn't be about money. And then I saw uh, one of my other followers, um, Denise, was basically saying that she don't understand the concept of putting sex and money in the same parallel to each other. So this is this is where I'm coming from with it. And I can only speak for myself. When you sign up to be with a woman, especially a woman like me, you're saying that I want to be responsible for you. See, I have this, this issue with, with certain types of men. You got certain type of men who want to be single and live a single life and want zero responsibility for a woman, but yet you all right, we're going to lay up. Why are you all right with laying up? Be single and keep your single dick over there with you. Keep your single conversation over there with you. Be single. Single being by yourself. So be by yourself. Co communicate with yourself. Engage with yourself. Go home to your fucking house by yourself. Your empty house, your walls, your TV, Them. All, that's all the shit you should be communicating with. Because you're single. Be single. Ain't nobody mad about you being single. What I'm saying is, don't bring your single ass on this side of the fence. Want all of the shit that go along with a motherfucker in a relationship, feeding you, fucking you, coaching you, listening to your problems, lifting you up, being everything that I know to be to, to build you as a man, but yet you single. Stay your single ass over there at your house and talk to your motherfucking walls. Beat that dick by yourself. Single. Don't come over here. Because when you cross on this side of the fence, want to do relationship type of shit, this is what come along with relationship type of shit with a grown woman. Grown women have responsibilities. Even if she don't have children, she got the responsibility to take care of that pussy you're trying to get. You think she go to the doctor and ain't asking for no copay? Like, I don't understand what it is. And I was, all I was trying to get my husband to understand is when you take on a, a, a woman, you basically signing up to take on responsibility. When you say I do to a woman and you say I want to marry you, you're saying that I want to be responsible for you. That's why when you have a child and you are married, the child does not have the woman's last name. The child has the father's last name because he is the responsible party for him, for, for her, the mother, 
and the child. He's the responsible party. And I think today men are not being taught what it means to be responsible and to be in a relationship. And all I'm saying is, if that ain't what you want, we are right with that as women. We are so okay with you being single. But be single on that side of the fence because when you cross over on this side of the fence, motherfucking responsibility kicks in. And if you ain't with the responsibility, then stay your ass on that side of the fence and beat your dick on that side of the fence. But if you come on this side of the fence, I'm going to beat that dick for you. But it's some responsibility that's going to come along with this shit. Why are we wrong for saying that? Why why are we wrong for, for saying that to be with me, you're going to have to do some shit? You can't just be with a woman like me. I require certain things. Why, why are we wrong for saying that? I don't feel like we're wrong for saying that, that we require certain things to be in this here shit with us. So I, we, me and my husband was on the plane. And he was saying, I don't think you realize how much pressure, um, how much pressure women put on men. I feel like it's pressure on everybody. We not like I, I understand and and I trust me I love and I respect the Bible and everything, um, but I don't think that where we are in life today is necessarily sometimes parallel with what was going on in the biblical days or even what was going on when our grandparents were starting their families. Today everybody got to be responsible. The same way you got to get up and go get it, I got to get up and go get it too. Now, we can choose to have one person stay at home and one person go out there and work, but guess what? That's the lifestyle that we got to have too. And let's just be honest. A lot of jobs are not paying well enough for people to be able to live like that, especially to start a family, have children, buy a house, drive a nice car, have insurance, go out to eat, be able to do nice shit. You got to have more than one income coming in to do that. 